Join us today on our last full day in Indonesia where we're going to be reminiscing about the incredible two months that we spent exploring this beautiful country. From the delicious food to the sweet, sweet people, the stunning nature and the crazy roads, we are going to be sharing exactly why we have fallen in love with Indonesia and why you will too. What is happening, beautiful people? We are Silky and Kieran, and we're in our 10-year honeymoon world trip. And today my wife has beautiful little bunches. Uh, Look at this. After her haircut, give me a spin. Ah, uh, she's been playing with her hair. It's beautiful. I love it. <laughs> Got a new wife. Today is our last day. Our last in full Indonesia. day in Indonesia. Oh my God, what an adventure this has been, and it only hit us yesterday. The sadness. Yeah. Oh, the sadness of leaving. I think um, we've been super excited to, to leave. After two and a half years on the road, we were like excited to be back home, see the family and stuff. But just yesterday, driving past markets, oh, the smells, the people, the food. I must admit, we're a little bit sad to be leaving. For our last few days here, we have been staying on the outskirts of Ubud and right now we're just walking into the center to grab some brunch and um, yeah, we, we're gonna take you guys along with us. My crazy wife. Just for your information, it's a one hour walk. Kieran and I love walking. Sogo <laughs> <laughs> wasn't saying that off camera. What? Oh, you're Thank you. Suksama. I think you're just selling like boots and shoes on the side of the road. You want to see that in Scotland? What a meal. That was super mm. tasty. Indonesia's food is incredible. I know this was not Indonesian, but yep. usually we always have nasi pachel for yeah, breakfast. Yeah, uh, for the last two months we've been having nasi pachel, gado gado, all the local stuff, eating with locals always, and it is, sorry, <laughs> it is our favorite thing to do. We absolutely love it. And just, uh, yeah, we're soaking up the last last few hours, I guess, in, in Ubud, wow. Um, it has been nice. I was not looking forward to coming back to Ubud because... Um, it's very touristy. Yeah. We are tourists ourselves, uh, but we, we just love being in the local culture, meeting people, learning about the culture, about For dance, sure. about life. Everything about life in, in Indonesia. But um, I must admit, we've had a pleasant surprise coming back and being with our friends Owen and Ashling yeah. and just having a good time. So it has been a beautiful, um, yeah, a beautiful end to our trip. Um, but yeah, now we are going to look for a gift for our friend's new baby. A new baby. It's new not baby. an old one. Not an old baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess that's so. Uh, Maybe you can help us and tell us what yeah, you think is Yeah, let us nice. know in the comments. We found this cute little thing walking past. It's this one. And I think that would be so nice. Look at the back. Super, super cute. Doreen, I hope you like this. Um, if not, then... <laughs> you can wear it. I can wear it. it can almost fit me. <laughs> we got the little cute dress and then this, which is to hold a pacifier. So she'll just like clip it on, I guess, and then have her thingy. Ah, oh, so you're an expert. I'm a, yeah, I'm an expert. I would love to keep this. This is nice. I like this. Not quite your size. Well, not my size, but I like it. It's super cute. <laughs> Let's head through. Uh, we cannot believe that this journey is coming to an end. I mean, we spent only two months here, but it's flown by. It really hasn't come to an end in Ubud where it all started. It feels like just yesterday we were hitchhiking out a year towards Java. When we first were leaving Ubud, we could never have expected the journey that was ahead of us. It turned out to be one of the most incredible journeys. First of all, we met my sister and her boyfriend. We hadn't seen her in over a year, so it was a really beautiful reunion. And then with them, 
We did a 10 day road trip yeah. around Java. We, we, we met them in Jogja. We got the bus to Banyawangi and then just just hit the road. And we hit all of the hot spots. Like, we started with the Red Island after we made our way to the waterfalls. The waterfalls are incredible, but um, they still have our drone. Tumpak say we were coming for you. Yeah, we, we lost our drone in Tumpak Sewu. <laughs> it's gone, Sales. No. Oh my god, no way. Yeah. We were filming this beautiful waterfall and then suddenly just like yeah. crashed into the side of the mountain. And stayed there. And so stayed we jumped there. on a bike that day and we drove all the way to Malang from Tumpak Sewu. It was like six hours of driving to drive all the way there and back. It was crazy, but so worth it because we got a drone. Why do we need a drone? Because the next stop for us was... Bromo! <sighs> and Bromo, holy frick, you need a drone for that. Actually, at that point, the crater was very active and they recommended not to go up, but we were like, well, there were locals down there, yeah, they said we, it's fine. We got there and the locals said like, oh yeah, like you can go up. So we were actually alone with Soga's sister and her boyfriend on top of the crater. And it was incredible. You could really hear the... <sighs> Wow. It was a very, a very magical moment just being there, like looking inside of the earth. Your, your arms getting sore, left. My arms getting so sore. <laughs> I'll well, take over. I have to say, I love Bromo, but I think each end is even like a step higher. Oh, like. yeah. When we got there, like it was the last spot on our road trip with Jack and Ellie, and it was like save the best to last. When we got to Banyuwangi, we found a nice, comfortable place to stay. We got on our bike and we drove at midnight we started yes. to get to the base of Ijen and we were first up there we got up there we hiked super fast so that we could be down and see the blue fire which is insane we've never seen something like this before no. I mean blue fire is I didn't yeah. know it existed it seems like there's only two places in the world where blue fire exists one is, is in Africa. Africa and then here wow crazy you guys have got it lucky all the Indonesians have got like one of two places in the world but um yeah, and then we hiked back up the top for sunrise and it was so beautiful and there were so many people on the way down. Wow, it was like a, just a river of people making their way down to see the blue fire just before sunrise. It was really beautiful just to see the lake in like full bright light. It was super yeah, blue. so blue. So tempting to swim, but... Um, no. 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 No, not no good. <laughs> it was, yeah. It was, yeah, it was just a really beautiful place and we sat there for hours just looking over the lake yeah and until everyone until everyone cleared out we were the only ones left up there really and it was just so peaceful so relaxing and so so beautiful mm. Mm -hmm. oh also whilst visiting Bora Bodor the most insane thing happened our drone just started freaking out that's actually not what I was talking about I was talking about the little village life but our drone did start freaking out in Bora Bodor and we almost lost it because they've got like Alien defense systems. A hundred million rupiah. 600 million. 600 million. 600 million rupiah for a, a drone blocker, alien scanning drone gun thing. It was crazy. Anyway, we got it back, <coughs> and then after we, we we lost it again. But anyway, we're not talking about. We're not this. talking about that. We're talking about the village life just outside of Borobudur. We had one of the most insane local experiences, maybe on all of our travels. There are like 200 locals and us. Just us. Two little white faces like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we saw our first Jotiland there. And uh, that was just a crazy experience. We've yeah. never seen something like this before. The people were going into a literal trance where they yeah. started shaking their body and bringing their eyes the to the bed. Like the, the spirits were going inside of them and taking over their body. It was really crazy and it was also so beautiful to feel so welcomed by everyone. They made us even feel so welcome that they asked me to go and dance with them. So they just pushed British me within like the group of girls to like go and then some chatty land with them. I felt a bit uncomfortable, but uh, yeah, I decided luckily, not to join. <laughs> luckily, I didn't get um, overtaken by spirit. And <laughs> imagine it was also amazing to see how their food was made and like be introduced to all the local dishes. We were trying cassava chips and they're a fishing village but what was beautiful was they're like super sustainable so any fish that they don't need they just 
put back, you know, they, they have like a real sustainable mindset on how they can make this work for both them and the environment. So it was so beautiful to learn about that and um, learn about local life in Java. We actually met a woman who was 103 years old. 103, and this was her advice. <laughs> And on our way back from our second day in the village, we had met two photographers who said Marapi is erupting tonight, or is super active tonight and you should join us to go and see it from a lookout point and that was incredible because it was our first time ever seeing a volcano eruption like lava coming out of the top and we decided to rent a scooter for the last day because we've got a little bit of extra money that we can't spend so we thought just get a bike and that means we can come back because tomorrow we are heading for the airport Tomorrow we are heading to the airport nice and early and we don't want to have to walk for an hour with all of our backpacks. So. We've got something super exciting waiting at home. Oh yes, wait till you see, it's our favourite thing in Indonesia and in the whole can wild you, world. Can you guess what it is before we get there? Can I give you three seconds? <laughs> to the little house and already in the pool. This is our last day in the pool because after we'll be freaking freezing. I don't think there's any swimming pools like this in Scotland. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, after our epic journey in Java, we arrived back on Bali for our last month in Indonesia and we stayed in Singaraja for two weeks. Two weeks. First of all, to renew our visa, yep. but then also we just had friends there. We had a really nice time. Yeah, our friend Agus, who if you saw our first ever video in Indonesia, hitchhiking from Ubud to Gilimanuk, a goose picked us up and he said, ah, oh, you've got to come and see me in Singaraja, stay with my family. And um, so we took him up on that and we ended up staying for two weeks in Singaraja. And during those two weeks, we had some epic local experiences. Yeah, there were no tourists at all. We were first of all invited to a ceremony, so we had to go and buy a sarong and the whole outfit. Oh. Yeah, and the ceremony was super beautiful. It was just like, yeah, like a lot of people from Singaraja all coming together on a beautiful temple by the ocean. And yeah, we just all prayed together and we learned a little bit about all the different rituals they have. Agus's daughter was really amazing. She like, why are we doing it? She's like, okay, you've got to do this. And then put Pull this flower, the flower behind your ear. Yes. And this one on your top of your head. It was it was so much fun and for us like a really different experience. The day after we got invited to a wedding. So the day after? Mm-hmm. Crazy. It was. <laughs> that was a full on time. You think we can just go? Uh. We're invited to a wedding? Well, no. The guy who's singing here invited us. He said like, oh yeah, you guys can definitely come. But I feel a little bit weird. Because there's lots of people and we're actually not really invited. They had the best food, local food. And, and the best durian ice cream. Oh, that, that reminds me. We have durian. <gasps> Should we get that a was durian? a surprise. That was the thing that we had here. We forgot to show you. Yes. I can see it. We get that later. So yeah, the durian ice cream. We loved it. And we saw how Balinese culture is so different from what you see on the outside. Oh my god, we thought Balinese people were shy, but on <laughs> weddings they are not shy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And then the girls are like, ooh. Well, yeah. the, the girls are actually doing this and the guy is like... They were, they were really, like, <laughs> the, the way they dance is um, so funny. But it's, it was... show them. Yeah. I don't know, they were like pulling each other. Yeah. No, no, the girl was like this. Oh yeah. And the guy was like... Yes. <laughs> waving things around and stuff. <laughs> oh my god. We, uh, uh, we we'd be now? too shy to do this in a party. Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we both danced. We so. both did dance. We got up for a boogie. Yeah. But, yeah we, we just did like the, the nice little dance. We didn't, didn't go full out. I didn't want to start like grinding on a local girl just in case they were like, oh. <laughs> Get kicked out of our first wedding. Anyway, it was a really, really, really beautiful experience. And we yep. were super grateful to have experienced that. Yeah. And then we arrived in 
over there. And life became way too easy. Oh. We stayed at some beautiful hotels. Mm, yeah, because we knew we were going home, we decided not to adventure too much more. And because we knew we're definitely coming back to Indonesia, for sure coming back to Bali. Um, but we just said, let's take it easy. We met some photographers who'd flown out from Germany to have some photo shoots with us. And the photos they took were unbelievable. Mm. And it was such an amazing time just being surrounded by such good energies and they had a beautiful villa where we, we hung out so much. So um, yeah, we really loved that time. And we were like staying at some nice hotels in between. And then that brings us to now. Mm. Yeah, we arrived at this beautiful place with our friends and we've been here for a couple of days. Yesterday we actually went to oh. Denpasar to try the best freaking Terangbulan Martabak oh. Manis in our life. Oh my god, that was the best. Like guys, you've got it. If you've not seen that video, go back and watch it and just spend the whole time just drilling. And then you've got to go and fulfill it by just going and paying a visit to them because mm -hmm. the, the Terangbulan was incredible. So good. I actually said so good today. I think it was the best like local sweet thing that I've ever had. Better than mango sticky rice? 100 percent Better than Sri Lankan pancake with nuts, coconuts? 100 times better. Better than sells 100 times better. Than everything. Wow. So freaking good. I mean, I loved it too. It was, yeah. yeah I, I it was really good. liked it. I have to say, Mango Sticky Rice is my favorite. So sorry, guys. Oh. Mango Sticky Rice is just oh, so freaking good. But, but I love Trang Bulan as well. Oh, no. It's just <laughs> like we have quite different sweet tooths because I'm very, very like, I like the sweetest sweet stuff, whereas Silk is more like she likes croissant and, and croissant. 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 <laughs> uh, yeah. So it's, it's, it's nice because usually that means if we get a super sweet dessert, I get to. The only thing we're lucky almost. about is that we both love durian. That's right. <laughs> Sorry if you got wet. It's time for durian, guys. And it smells so good. I wish I could send some smells through this camera, but uh, that's not possible. Um, oh, our friends said that they had to move the durian because it was getting way too smelly inside. So it's a good one. It smells great. I mean, the thing Insects. is, you see them. Our friends really are watching us. <laughs> <laughs> Eating dragon fruit. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Yes. Nice. Wow, that smell is incredible. And the way to like split it, you just like push down on the other side and open it up. This one's quite a soft skin one. We are so happy we picked this up. This is actually a Singaraja Dorian and it smells incredible. We trusted the guy completely. He was just like, take this one, it's a good one. And it's 40,000. We know in Java we found Dorians for 5,000. That was the cheapest one we've ever found in our life. And it was good. But this one, I think oh, it smells just insane. Oh, it smells so smoky. Oh, ah. it's, oh it's soft. Mm. Wow. Oh, really good one. It's a really good one. Guys, you want to try? Go on. If you don't mm. like it, give it back to us. Spit it out, Spit it out of your mouth. <laughs> because nothing goes lost. It goes to waste. <sighs> what I'll do is I'll... Um... The smell. Okay. It's good, eh? It's a <sighs> mixture of good and bad. I'm not personally You want to come and join come us on, in the sofa? Come, come on, come on. Come, come, come. To, to the sofa. sofa. <laughs> on to the sofa. I reckon we're going to split a piece. Yeah. Okay. Let's go for Cause it. Because I'm not convinced we're going to enjoy it. I don't want to waste it on you if we're going to enjoy not gonna, it. They're bule bule. <laughs> <laughs> bule bule. <laughs> I'm joking, guys. Uh, like, oh, they're a knot in it, isn't Yeah, there? so yeah, what yeah. you do is you... What? And then suck it off the knot. And then... So they he's have, disgusted. <laughs> they have clearly not eaten durian before. Have you we tried it once. once. We tried it once in Malaysia, okay. like a year and a half ago. And you ago. had it with a fork and a knife. No, we had them with, <laughs> with gloves and in our hands like... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they actually gave us gloves like for mm. and everything. I like, think it's so, always so funny. Yeah. 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 Okay guys, so this actually brings us to our next point. But let's let's see what the reaction is. <laughs> <laughs> it's not great. Okay. <laughs> that is um, not for me personally at all. 
Don't believe them. It's amazing. Like I can understand why like some people I under I get why you like it. For me personally, I don't enjoy the texture. I think the smell as well when you put it to your nose, it's like it is awful. It's amazing. Mm. We clearly have a divide in the sofa. <laughs> it is one of them things though, it's like we know so many people who absolutely love it and so many people who hate it. I don't think I know anybody who's like, oh yeah, like it's alright. Mm. Like there's nobody in the middle. Do you yeah. know what I mean? It's a love or hate. Love what or do you hate. Think? It's a mermaid thing. <sighs> yeah. The face says it all. Yeah, <laughs> That one was like more creamy. I mean, the one we had before, yeah. the texture of it, it had a real skin to it. Mm. And then underneath, I think there was yeah, too much of a contrast. Like, we're really? going to stick to dragon fruit or pineapples. Yeah. yeah. Mango. Mango, mm. yeah. 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 <laughs> Indonesia is still a fruit paradise. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like, the fruit here is just incredible. Like, all of the fruit. One day, my poop turns. Sales, stop. No one needs to know the dragon fruit Go story. On. I want to hear the rest of the story. Go I'll on. Tell you. Monday, my poop was red. And she was worried. She thought it was blood. So we were like, oh, let's call all the parents. We called all the parents. Like, we're seeking medical advice. And then I went to the toilet later on and realized I had the same. And Suga's sister heard us. She was in the next room. She heard us talking about it. She was like, guys, too much information. And she said, is it not all that dragon fruit you had? And we were like, Ah, and it clicked. Because like, <laughs> yeah, we had like a kilo of dragon fruit. At least. At least, and it was uh, so well, good. there you so. go. If you have too much dragon fruit and you're a little bit worried the next day, we have your answer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not for me personally. Enoch. Enoch. Time for yoga. <sighs> In a while. Too long. Let's go. These guys are prepared. They have yoga mats. I have yoga fats. <laughs> Last time packing, did you hear that? What? Wow, we've been over two years on the road now. We've done Iceland, Spain, Portugal, Sri Lanka, India, Nepal, Laos, Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore, Sri Lanka, oh. and now here. And That was Sri Lanka twice on purpose, by the way, because we <laughs> did do the country twice. Yeah, but it feels super crazy to be packing. And we will be going home only for a few months as our passports are expiring, so we just yeah. need to but change them. we will be talking more about that in the next video. Mm -hmm. and Push! 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> God! Yeah! Uh, nice! Yeah. Perfect, thank you, my love. Ow! Oh! Ah! That was a good one. Ah. Definitely worth it. Well, guys. It's I'm, done. It's I'm over. Time in Indonesia is up. Ooh. The next vlog is going to be us actually leaving the country, so. Make sure to stay tuned for that one. And also for all the rest because we'll have some insane adventures in yeah, Scotland. Yeah, we're going to be taking you guys to Scotland. So yeah. come along with us. See where we grew up. See see everything about that. So yeah. Anyway, guys, love you. Thank you for being here. We love you guys. We will be back. For sure. There's so much of Indonesia to see. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. All that good stuff. And we will see those beautiful faces of yours on the next big adventure. Bye. Brrr.